Historical records show that Indian jewelers mastered quite early the various skills required for making fine jewelry out of gold, silver and other metals. Is the choice of metals in setting gemstones have a bearing? So uh, what do we mount the stones in? Now that's the question. Usually we mount all gemstones in gold. But we have at times received specific requests that the stone should be mounted in silver. Now, talking to a few astrologers, I've learned that uh, silver is usually recommended when uh, the aspect of the moon in the horoscope requires it to be done. By and large, all mountings are in gold. At times, even copper has been recommended. Now, these metals have also got a relationship with planets. Uh, you, you do know that copper bracelets have been used for arthritis. Copper has been known to heal. The grandmother in India will tell you that you should eat out of bronze plates or cook in bronze vessels. That stainless steel is not desirable. That silver is very good. And if you can afford it, you can have a spot of gold in your silver plate to eat from. So metals do have some some impact on the person, the health and the being of that person. And in all these matters, the deeper you go, uh, the more intricate and the more fine everything becomes. But to start with, perhaps it's better to wear your stone in gold. The best conductor of energy is copper, then gold, then silver, but it makes very little difference. One is not worth bothering about.